briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. The groundbreaking Tennessee case involved Harry Douglas McIntyre, who was severely injured in a motor vehicle accident with defendant Clifford Ballantyne. In the aftermath of the accident, it was revealed both parties had consumed alcohol. McIntyre's blood alcohol level measured a staggering 0.17%. Seeking justice, McIntyre launched a negligence lawsuit against Ballantyne and the trucking company, East West Motor Freight, Inc., contending their contributory negligence led to his injuries. After consideration, the jury found both McIntyre and Ballantyne equally at fault, ruling in the defendant's favor. However, McIntyre's fight didn't end there. He appealed on the grounds that the trial court had erred by not instructing the jury on comparative negligence and by instructing them that a blood alcohol level greater than 0.10% creates an inference of intoxication. The Court of Appeals stood by the original decision, stating that comparative negligence was not applicable in the state of Tennessee and that evidence suggesting presumption of intoxication was admissible in civil cases. McIntyre's persistence eventually led to the Supreme Court, where the game changed. With fresh eyes reviewing the case, the court not only ordered a new trial, but also declared the need for Tennessee to adopt the principle of comparative fault. This ruling instructed trial courts to allow defendants to assign negligence to non-parties, with the jury determining the proportional liability of each party involved. The court's decision effectively rendered the doctrines of remote contributory negligence and last clear chance obsolete. A lasting impact of the case was the revised special verdict form now prompting a comprehensive assessment of questions on negligence, causation, and damages. Despite the court denied McIntyre's request for reconsideration on joint and several liability and non-party tortfeasors, further judicial guidance on these matters remains open. In essence, the decision in McIntyre v. Ballantyne laid the foundation for current personal injury law in Tennessee. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for Visit lsd.law Elevate your mind Leave the stress of class